Hey there, wildlife family. Welcome to Doc Wild, your go-to place for untold nature stories that shape our world. In today's episode, we're going to dive into one of the most extraordinary conservation efforts in history, the reintroduction of wolves into Yellowstone National Park. The year is 1995. This is not a scene from the distant past. This is the sound of wolves returning home after an absence of over 70 years. The reintroduction of wolves to Yellowstone is a landmark moment in conservation history. It is a story of ecological restoration, scientific endeavor, and the enduring power of nature. The eradication of wolves from Yellowstone in the early 1900s was a tragedy for the ecosystem. Without the wolves to regulate their numbers, elk populations exploded. These herbivores, driven by instinct and hunger, began to overgraze the land. The lush vegetation that once carpeted the park began to disappear. The fish populations plummeted and entire ecosystems started collapsing, all because one key player was missing, the wolf. But in 1995, something incredible happened. After years of effort, 14 grey wolves were brought from Canada and reintroduced into Yellowstone National Park. However, it wasn't just a simple case of let's bring wolves back. It was part of a carefully planned and groundbreaking effort by wildlife experts, conservationists and park officials to restore balance to the ecosystem. By hunting elk and other large herbivores, the wolves did more than just reduce animal populations. They forced these animals to change their behaviours altogether. For example, elk were no longer able to graze in the same areas as freely as before. They started avoiding areas like valleys and riverbanks, which allowed plants like willows, aspens and cottonwoods to regenerate. This regeneration, in turn, began to restore the health of rivers and streams. This is a perfect example of what we call a trophic cascade, a chain reaction of ecological changes triggered by the reintroduction of a top predator. The wolves' return didn't just impact the animals they preyed upon, it reshaped the entire ecosystem. This kind of ecological restoration is a reminder of how interconnected life truly is. The reintroduction of wolves in 1995 marked a turning point for Yellowstone. Their presence was soon felt throughout the ecosystem. The wolves, fitted with radio collars, were closely monitored by scientists and were documented on how quickly they adapted to their new surroundings, forming packs and establishing territories. The 14 wolves that were reintroduced into Yellowstone didn't just save a park. They helped save an ecosystem. And in doing so, they showed us that the wild places of our world aren't lost to us. They're still here, waiting for us to restore them. It underscores the critical role that keystone species play in maintaining the health and balance of ecosystems. The story of Yellowstone's wolves is a beacon of hope for conservation efforts worldwide. Thanks for tuning in, wildlife family. If you enjoyed this story, hit that like button and subscribe for more truly amazing wildlife tales.